Good evening. Good evening. If you have your Bibles, you're in church on Sunday night, so you probably do. Okay. But turn to Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5. In another beautiful day. He sent sunshine. He sent rain. Yes, that's right. He's allowed us another time to be in his house. Amen. Mm -hmm. We ask there to send your prayers tonight. But if you find your place, Isaiah chapter 5, and we're just going to read one verse tonight. And that's verse 20. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Scripture says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah. And we'd ask if you would uh, pray. Father, again, we thank you, Lord, for your precious word. And uh, once again, Lord, you uh, overcome Doug's inability. Father, uh, for all those that hear this, Lord, we pray that you give them understanding and, Lord, uh, again, convict where you need to convict and encourage where you need to encourage. And, Father, you just put the words in our mouth that need said to do that tonight. Yes. And Father, again, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask these things in Christ's name. And amen. 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 <coughs> Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right, right. Uh, folks, woe to those that speak from both sides of their mouth. Yeah. Woe to those that speak from both sides of their mouth. Uh, Isaiah says, listen, <laughs> you all call evil good, and good evil yeah and folks if you don't understand that we live in the day where that's amen. the description harley yes amen uh they call good evil yeah. bill and they call evil good that's right okay uh light for darkness yes yes and darkness for light folks yes. listen um danny it's sad that somebody has to put in their, their campaign speech that, you know what, I, I don't believe in this transgender stuff, okay? That we're at a point in time yep. that you have to actually come out and say that, Bill. Yeah. But that's why. Yeah. Because what they call evil good and they right. call good evil. That's right. That's okay? Right. Amen. And folks, listen, you need to beware of bad doctrine. That's right. Amen. You need to beware of bad doctrine, okay? Uh, he says... Uh, Colossians 2 8 says beware lest any man through philosophy and vain deceit yeah. uh, after the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ mm -hmm. uh, folks listen a lot of the stuff that's going on today mm -hmm. it's not sandy based from the words of Christ yeah. Right. It's right. after the traditions of men. It's after whatever the world says is acceptable. Mm -hmm. Okay? And he, Paul says, listen, beware. Yeah. Beware of these. Yeah. Uh, through philosophy, through vain deceit, that, that try and spread this stuff. Okay? Yeah. Right. Uh, 1 John 4.1. Uh, it says, uh, Brethren, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. Right whether they be of God. Right. For many false prophets are going out into the world. Amen. Uh, Mike, we've said this before, just because uh, you have stained glass windows, just because you have a steeple on top of a building, that doesn't make it a church. That's right. Folks, just because somebody gets up in front of people, yeah. and uh, Bill, I was going to say, dresses in a nice Armani suit. Okay, I don't got Armani. <laughs> but they don't even do that now. Yeah. True. They just get up in jeans, Sandy, and a t-shirt and whatever. Yeah. Uh, folks, listen. Believe not every spirit. That's right. Amen. But try the spirit. That's right. Because there's a lot of false prophets, Harley. Yes. Amen. There's a lot of false prophets in the world. There's a lot of false prophets in churches. Though. Yes. Amen. And folks, listen. You just can't randomly 
uh, assume that yeah everything that, that they say is right because we live in a time that it's Proverbs 14, 12, okay? Yeah. Uh, there is a way that seemeth right, right unto a man, yes. but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right. Folks, listen, there are people that they want to hear something that sounds good, Joe. Yeah. If it sounds good, then it ought to, I probably should accept it, okay? But folks, that is dangerous. Yes, amen. That is dangerous, okay? Okay. Uh, just accepting uh, something because somebody says so and they appear to be in a position of authority, that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right, okay? But there are people that they, they just want you to fall in line. They just want you to fall in line today, okay? And folks, we don't need to just fall in line with what the world says. That's right, that's right. We don't need to just fall in line with what the world says, okay? Um, thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 12 says, Beloved I, brethren, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, right. wholly acceptable unto him, which is your reasonable service. That's right. Saying to God forbid that preachers actually say that today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, yeah. this is your reasonable service. That's right. says, Amen. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. It says, and be not conformed to this world, right. but be ye transformed, yes. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. By the renewing of your mind. and uh, Folks, listen. When you just conform to the world, mm -hmm. that's what it does. It says, listen, you just fall in line. Yeah. You do what everybody else is doing. Right. That's right. Uh, folks, that's dangerous. Yes, it is. That's dangerous. Uh it was dangerous, again, if you're reading the book of Judges this month, okay, uh, at one point you'll get to the verse where it says that every man did that which was right in his own eyes. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where we're at today. Yeah, amen. Listen, as long as I think I'm doing okay, yeah. Yeah. who are you to judge me? Right. Okay. Uh, but folks, don't just get in line. Don't just get in line, and Bill, hopefully as you go through Kings, yeah. Yeah. you'll see the consequences, yes. folks, of what happened Amen. when Israel just got in line. Yes. When they said, okay, we're just going to be like all these other nations. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, there's a price to be paid yes. for that. Amen. There's a price to be paid for that. Now, on the other hand, folks, when you don't just get in line with what the world says, mm -hmm. God can work. Yes. You read again in the book of Daniel, okay? Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay? Right. Uh, listen, they say, hey, we're not going to do like these other ones. Right. Okay? And Bill, again, they said, listen, we're giving you the finest meat. <laughs> we're giving you the finest wine to drink. Why don't you just get in line? Yeah. And Becky, that's what Daniel said, because it's wrong. Right. Amen. Because I won't defile myself. But folks, there's very few people today that says, you know what, listen, I'm not going to yeah. defile myself. True, true. Because guess what? <laughs> yes. I'll get mocked. Amen. That's right. I'll get yeah. bullied on social media. Yeah. Mary, I remember the days when a bully was somebody that got you on the bus and <laughs> threw you up yeah. against the window, okay? They didn't get online, Lisa, and say, yeah. oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And <laughs> 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 folks, where are we at? Yeah. Yeah. Where are we at? Amen. But that's where we're at. Listen, that affects people worse than just getting a beating, Bill. That's right. Yes. It's it sent them into trauma. It's sent yeah. them into maybe taking their own life yes. because right. they're so worried about what somebody else says. Folks, yeah. listen, don't just get in line. Yeah. Get in line with Christ. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Get in line Amen. with the word, but don't get in line with the world. Okay, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yes. First uh, John two, I believe, around verse fifteen, says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yeah. For all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life, yeah. is not of the Father, but is of the world." Amen. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Amen. Okay? Uh, folks, listen. The world is constantly trying to get people 
Becky to just fall in line. Yeah. Okay. Listen, uh, you all just get along. Yeah. Just get along, just conform, just do whatever. Folks, when you follow the world, then again, you're turning your back on God. Amen. Amen. Yes. No, amen or out. Yes. Folks, listen, when we follow the world, we turn our back on God. Right. And that's dangerous. Yes. Okay. Amen. But it says that all these things, they're not of the Father. Mm -hmm. And it says that if any man love the world more than the Father, then guess what? The, the love of the Father isn't any. Amen. So if we love the world, then it says the love of the Father isn't in us. Right. Okay? Amen. Folks, we have to have the love of God, Amen. not the love of the world. Amen. Okay? Mm -hmm. But calling good evil and evil yeah. good. Yeah. Okay? Saying light is dark and dark is light. Okay? Yeah. Folks, it's sad what these kids, yeah. Becky, yeah. That their friends say is right today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bless him, Lord. God help him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God help him. Bill, they used to mock Nancy Reagan because of the just say no. Yeah. But folks, it, it was really that simple. Yeah. Listen, just say no. That's right. Amen. Just say no to this stuff, and guess what? You won't have problems. That's right. Amen. But once you start. Uh, tippy toeing with the world yeah. once you start being friendly with those that uh, follow the world's rules then you're going to get hurt that's right amen you're going to get hurt okay <coughs> but light for darkness okay again first john chapter one verse five <coughs> says this is the message that we have heard of him and declare unto you that god is light and in him is no darkness at all Folks, listen to what that said. Yeah. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Right. If we say that we are in the light and walk in, if we say that we have fellowship in him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Amen. Folks, listen. There's no darkness in God. Right. Right. It's all light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's no hidden things. Right. Uh... Becky, I get a little leery of some of these churches and organizations that you got to have a special code to get into the website, okay? That tells me that, guess what? You're hiding something. Yeah, amen. And, Bill, we won't name some yeah, of these denominations right. or whatever. Yes, that's right. But listen, folks, if you're trying to hide something, then that means there's darkness there. Yeah. But it says that in God there is no darkness. Right. It's all light. Yes, amen. He doesn't try to hide anything. He doesn't try to cover up anything. Because in him is light. Yes. But the world doesn't like light. The world likes no, darkness. That's right. okay. The world it's likes incredible. darkness. Yes. But woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Uh... Folks, listen, we have got to a point that, guess what? We make excuses for the brother. True. Mm -hmm. That is true. We make excuses for the brother. Okay? Uh, 1 Corinthians 5, something like that. He says, uh, I had written with you not to keep company with fornicators, nor adulterers or adulterers or drunkards or revilers. Uh, with such a one, no, not to eat. Okay. If any man be called a brother. Okay. Now, why would Paul write that? Why would Paul write that? Because, folks, listen. When you associate with people mm -hmm. that claim to be Christians, right. and hardly they do stuff, yeah. and they post stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I remember when one of the kids showed us something that somebody that was a little older than them had put on Facebook and they used to come to this church 
and I seen it, and I, I thought, how? How? Because if I said the family name, you all would just say, oh, I can't believe that. And Becky, that's what I did. I said, I can't believe that. But Bill, no respect for their family. That's right. No respect for their elders. That's right. No respect for why they had been brought up. Amen. And just wide open for everybody to see. Amen. Folks, listen, you can't, that's what Paul's saying here. Listen, yeah. if, a, if a person is supposed to be a brother yeah. in Christ and they're doing these things, yes. it says don't associate with them. That's right. mm -hmm. that's right. Don't associate with them. And you I, probably on that same page in chapter 6, uh, around verse 9 maybe somewhere yes, in there that's right. yes. it says know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God mm -hmm. hardly again this all dogs go to heaven <laughs> no nope. that's right. there's a lot of mutts yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of mutts folks yeah. all dogs ain't going to heaven it says listen know right. ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God yeah. it says be not deceived yes mm -hmm. Be not deceived. In other words, listen, don't fool yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't speak out of both sides of your mouth. He says, for, uh, again, fornicators, yes. adulterers, right. idolaters, yes. drunkards, revilers, uh, covetous, uh, yeah. all these things. Yeah. He says, understand that they will not enter, they will not inherit the yes. kingdom of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. And you look and you say, man, they must have been really bad at corn. Becky, about as bad as most churches today. Amen. Amen. Now, amen or out. That's okay. Right. That's right. All this stuff that was going on at Corinth, but guess what? It was going on in other places too. Sure. That's right. Amen. Because you know what? John had to write the same thing to five out of seven churches, Bill, yeah. in Revelation. Amen. It says, listen, you've let this nonsense yes. in. That's right. You've yeah. let this garbage in. Yes. You've allowed it, and you've allowed this, and you've allowed that, and now you're wondering why you're in the state that you're in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Folks, this isn't new. No. no. This isn't new. Uh, Galatians chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Again, he says almost verbatim the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Yes. And again, he goes through them, adultery, yes. fornication, oh. idolatry, yeah. uh, covetous, yeah. uh, Drunkards, revilings, uh, seditions, heresies, strife, yeah. <coughs> all these things. And again, at the end of that, you know what he says? Yeah. Do you not know that those that commit these things will not inherit the kingdom of God? Amen. 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 That's what it says. Folks calling good evil and evil good. Mm -hmm. There were those back then at, at, at Galatia, at Corinth, at these other churches that they said, listen, this is all right. But Paul and John and these others, hard they had to say, listen, no, it's not all right. right. That's right. Amen. Folks, listen, today it's not all right. Amen. Amen. Joe, that's the difference. Gosh, I really hate that. I'm, I'm getting to be one of these people when I say, I remember when. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm only 54. Most of you all's older than me, okay? <laughs> but... Joe, listen, when I was growing up, it didn't matter. At our church, guess what? It was the same thing as the Methodist church just up the road. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amen. Yes. And Harley, amen. pretty much in most communities, it was like that. Yeah, that's right. Amen. But folks, now, here's where we're at. It's not only... This church or that church can't be consistent. Yeah. Within each church. Yes. Amen. They can't be consistent. Amen. Amen. Because you got this one on this pew doing something. Yeah. And you got this one on this pew doing something. Yes. Amen. And you go down the road to this church and they say, oh, well, we know that the Bible says that, but we don't really care. Yeah. Well, then why do you even bother to use it? Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Listen, we don't work for the government, folks. There's some of these churches, Bill, they'd have to redact the whole thing yes, right. based on what they practice. Amen. Amen. <coughs> yes. Folks, those things ought not be. Yes. That ought not be. That's calling good evil yes. and evil good. That's right. Amen. 
Yes. Light for darkness yes. and darkness for light. Yeah. Folks, listen, we got to be consistent. Mm -hmm. we got to be consistent with God's Word. We've got to be consistent within the church. Amen. And folks, if you don't think that that matters, yeah. then Bill, they should have been down there for 25 years with me teaching. Yeah. Because yeah. guess what? <laughs> yeah. A lot of kids, Sandy, would ask me questions and say, but so-and-so up there, mm -hmm. they don't do that. Yeah. But so-and-so, Mary, they don't practice that. Yeah. Bless you, Mary. So Doug said, well, that's all right. You just do what they said. No. Yeah. What did Doug say? Yeah. Follow the book. That's right. Amen. 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 Follow the book. Amen. Folks, listen. you got to stand before God on your own. Yes. Amen. You're not going to be able to cross-reference what uh, the person across the pew did. You're not going to cross-reference what the person down the church down the next street did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to stand on your own. Amen. But this, again... Uh, Bless him more. Y'all didn't know Doug was going to be hateful tonight, did you? <laughs> <laughs> but Harley, it's like they want kumbaya yeah. for everybody. Mm. Yeah. Now, folks, if you ever went to church camp, you sing Kumbaya, that's real nice around the fire, okay? Uh, that's not real nice when you got these churches that are ordaining people that they shouldn't ordain. Amen. That are allowing people in the pulpit that they shouldn't allow. Amen. That allow practices within the church that shouldn't yeah. go on. Amen. Folks, listen, Kumbaya is out the door. That's right. Amen. Stand up for what God's Word says. That's right. Yeah. And we've got to be different, Mike. Yes. That's the thing. Uh, you have got to show somebody a difference. Yeah. We have got to show these young people that there's a difference. Yeah. Okay. Amen. Amen. And what, what what is that difference? That you got to be separate. Yes. That you got to be separate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Second Corinthians six says, "Be not unequally yoked with together Amen. with unbelievers." Amen. Okay. And there's those that will say, "Well, he's talking about marriage." Well, he is, but he's talking about something bigger than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For uh, what part hath Christ with Belial? Yeah. Or what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Right. Mm -hmm. Or what communion hath light with darkness? Amen. Folks, listen. We have to be separate. Mm -hmm. We have to be separate. Okay? And again, okay, you have loved ones. You have neighbors. You have coworkers. That guess what? They went to some of these churches and they've seen these things, Becky. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, that's the way it's supposed to be, right? No. Be That's what he says. Come ye out and be ye separate yes. from among them. Amen. And touch not the unclean thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I will receive you. Amen. Saith the Lord. Yes. Folks, listen, we have to come out and be separate from the world. Right. There are there are too many churches, there are too many Christians, or so-called Christians. Yes, I know. Okay? Yes. Uh, that they look more like the world, Harley. Yes. Than they do like Peter and Paul and James and John and the Amen. rest of the disciples. Amen. Folks, listen, you have to be separate. You have to be separate. Okay. And again, you can't just fall in line. Okay? In the book of Acts, I don't know, chapter 5, somewhere around there, when they round up the disciples, after they beat him, they said, listen, did we not straightly tell you not to preach in this man's name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what their response was? Yeah. Right. We ought to obey God rather than men. Amen. Amen. We Amen. ought to obey God rather than men. Folks, listen, that hadn't changed. That's right. We ought to obey God right. rather than men. Amen. But talking out of both sides of their mouth, folks, listen, there's people that are talking up out of both sides of their mouth. And Mike, here's the sad thing. There are a lot of people in church that make excuses for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But folks, guess what? God doesn't make excuses. Right, that's right. Amen. He doesn't make excuses. Revelation chapter 21, the last verse in that, mm -hmm. when he's talking about the, the new holy city, yeah. he says, and there shall nothing enter into it that defileth. Right. Or worketh abomination, right. or maketh a lie, but those that are written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Folks, listen. If you're going to be in heaven, <laughs> yeah. you can't live a contrary life down here That's and right. expect to get in. That's right. Amen. Amen. Okay? Doug, you're judging me. No, I'm telling you, you're talking out of both sides That's of right. your mouth. Amen. Amen. Because if you're saying that Jesus is that important to you, mm -hmm. then why aren't you in church? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Or that's a pretty simple question. Yeah. It ain't like Doug's reinventing the wheel here. Listen, <laughs> if you're telling me that you love Jesus, shouldn't you be in church? Amen. Amen. Okay. If it isn't this church, yeah. Mary, okay, again, you've only got about 150 options within a half hour here. Yeah. Why are you not in church? Bless you, Folks, man. listen, God doesn't make excuses. Mm -hmm. People make excuses. Yeah, that is true. And again, I get it, okay? So-and-so's my, my aunt, so-and-so's my cousin, so-and-so's my brother, so-and-so's my neighbor. I grew up with so-and-so. Folks, listen. So-and-so's going to meet the same standards yeah. we do, Mike. That's right. That's Either right. you're written in the book yes. or you're not. That's all right. Amen. And if you're not, guess what? You're not getting in. That's all right. It's really that simple. You're not getting in, okay? But, folks, there's consequences for talking out of both sides of your mouth. Mm -hmm. There are consequences for talking to, out of both sides of your mouth. Uh, Proverbs 17, 15, I think, says, He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, both, <coughs> both are an abomination unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Now think about that. Mm -hmm. He says, he that justifies the wicked and he that uh, condemns the just yeah. says they're both an abomination to the Lord. Amen. Why is it an abomination? Because hardly, neither one of it's true. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're condemning the just, God's not happy. If you're justifying the wicked, right. God's not happy. Amen. That's why he says, listen, they're both an abomination unto the Lord. Folks, I know it's hard. I know it's hard when we live in a time where there, there are no standards, okay? There's no yeah. standards at school. Yeah. There's no standards at work. Yeah. There's no standards in the church. Yeah. But folks, listen, you can't try and justify the wicked. That's right. Amen. Because God's going to laugh at that. Amen. And you can't condemn the just. Right, right. Mary, because God's going to laugh at that too. Yeah. See, if I was on social media, I'd print out every nasty thing they said about Doug McClellan. <laughs> and Sandy, I would just laugh. Because you know why? Because he's done told me, there's therefore no condemnation Amen. to Amen. them which are in Christ Jesus, Amen. who walk not after the flesh, right. but after the Spirit. Amen. But folks... You can't justify the wicked and you can't condemn the just. Okay? But calling good evil and evil good. Okay? And there are those that would say, listen, Doug, I've heard all this. I know all this. Uh, what's your point? Okay? James 4, 17. <laughs> to him that knows to do good. Yeah. And doeth it not, Glenna, to him, it is sin. Amen. Okay. Listen, if you tell me, yeah, Doug, I agree with all that. I know that's what the book says. Well, okay. But if you don't do it, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. then to him it is sin. Amen. Okay. It was sin at Corinth. Yeah. It was sin at Galatia. Right. It was sin at uh, Ephesus and all yeah. these other churches, folks. It's still sin today. Amen. And folks, listen, Pinch Ridge don't get a, an exemption. No, nope, that's right. If they did, I'd put it right on the, the wall, Bill. Right. We'd take pride. We'd take a picture. <laughs> put a picture on the door. Guess what? You come to Pinch Ridge and you don't got to worry about it. But Mary, there's a lot of places they think because I go to this church, I go to that church. Yeah. I don't got to worry about it. Might want to start worrying. Yes, amen. 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 Might want to start worrying because folks, listen. <laughs> Everybody ain't as 
bless you more. God isn't as dumb yeah. as everybody you deal with. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Now, amen right. or else. Yeah. God isn't as that's dumb right. as everybody you deal with, folks. That's right. But talking out of both sides of your mouth, folks, I pray that we're not talking out of both sides of our mouth today. Bill, come get us a song. <laughs> folks, if you have a need, the altar's open. youth group so remember that uh, again tomorrow night will be the, the business meeting 7 o'clock uh, Bill I think you've done exhausted the <laughs> but if you want to add anything to that, no, no, so. no nothing else needs to be said uh, other than pray before you yes, come amen. pray before you come folks. Uh, any other announcements that I'm sure they appreciate anybody can come and help visit all right again pray everybody has a wonderful week this week if uh, nothing else Danny <coughs> this was if you would